years. Hello everybody, this is Greg from Greg's Vintage Workshop. I'm not actually coming to you from the workshop today. I'm coming to you from uh, North Carolina, my house in North Carolina where my daughter and granddaughter and son-in-law live. And I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video and show you guys a little stuff around here. Just so I got something to do. I haven't put a video out since we left town and uh, figured I'd give you guys something to look at. I don't know if you can see my full shirt, I got a new shirt. This is going to be my go-to shirt when I make videos now. You can see it. No such thing as too many vintage radios. You probably can't see the bottom of it, but you'll see it in other videos. Anyway, let me get you off of what I got you set on. I'll show you around here. Okay, so this is the, the garage where I was just standing. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a very messy, 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 messy garage. Very full. My son-in-law likes to do a lot of various things here, but uh, so that's kind of the uh, cabinetry work area. This is a, we're in the garage here, and this is a paint booth that he built where he paints stuff. He uh, actually does a lot of hydrographic uh, work, and we got some tanks over here. Disregard all the crap in the middle here. He's got some tanks that he designed over here that he does his hydrographics in. He actually has a, a wheel down in there that he was doing some experimental work on. But uh, he does a really good job. Here's the other side of the paint booth. The door to go in there. There's some hydrographics that he did. Some test hydro hydrographics that he did. And he's into a lot of different things. There's the lawn tractor and the messy workbench area. As you can see, he does a lot of likes a lot of stereotype stuff. Has a boat. He's got a motor that he's been rebuilding. And my old toolbox from years ago. A nice big uh, workbench area over here. Pressure washer. Okay, now the more fun stuff. So we move outside. This is my daughter's 26 Challenger that she bought brand new. Um, when she graduated nursing school and uh, it's she's got to set up pretty custom various things one thing most people probably don't even realize is, is custom is the the challenger in there that's the metal challenger from a 71 is in there and then the subtle punisher skull son-in-law put that in there got the beautiful black over red interior Leather interior. I don't think you can probably see much of that in there. It's good. It's red. Some more custom stuff back here. The riot maker. It's got custom electric cutouts on it. Sounds awesome. She's a chip off the old block. My daughter is. She uh, got all of her automotive stuff from me. I've always been into that. And then here's my son-in-law's truck. He's got a Ram Rebel, and he's customized it as well. Actually, just put these spotlights on the back yesterday. Got the side boxes. He's got the, uh, it shows up. He's got the shadow punishers on the, the side that he installed. Looks factory. They even show up because they, as you can see them. Yeah, you can see them that way. Very nice done a great job on everything he's done to this truck he's getting ready to do some hydrographics on it but uh, very nice truck it's also black over red and then then we got my truck sitting next to it here and my camper I'll show you a little bit of that here in a minute this is his other truck It's all custom inside. It's dirty because it's been sitting outside here, but I think it's an 81 GMC. Very old school, very pretty truck. And uh, 
custom inside as well. Beautiful paint job on it. He shows this truck quite a bit. Another shot of the camper. Another shot of the garage. I told you we have a pile of dogs here. That's uh, Harley. That's Dallas. Hey Dallas. That's our shed. And here comes some of the other dogs. The one running up, that's Helena. And my dog, Hoss, and then the big brown dog, that's uh, Hermione. We have a little Quonset hut here. That's his boat, and the motor in there is four. But, uh, yeah. So, again, there's my truck. So, this is the camper. She's a pretty camper. Big shoebox to pull. You don't get very good uh, mileage when you pull it. But it's uh, a newer camper. I think we bought it in 2017. But um, it's supposed to look old school. It's actually pretty nice inside. It doesn't have a booth any longer. I took the booth out and we put a couple Lazy Boy recliners in there. It's not unlocked right now. I'd take you inside. Kind of show you what we got. But, uh, pretty nice. We like it a lot. So, this is the front yard. That's the house. And, uh, anyway, that's the house I come to when I'm in uh, North Carolina. So I asked my daughter to uh, demonstrate her exhaust cutouts to you. I wanted to show you, I don't know how all this is going to turn out. She's got custom uh, lights, light package in those neons as well as the driving lights change all different colors. She just kind of likes the, uh, the green neon with the violet driving lights. But uh, she can change it all different. She can even have them, like flashing, <laughs> they flash, they cycle, they whatever you want. Um, she even has blue and red, but that'd be illegal if she ran those. But anyway, so that's pretty cool. So, um, I asked her to demonstrate the cutouts. She said that you guys got to forgive her for the car being dirty. So, so right now, the, I think the cutouts are closed right now. Rev it up with the cutouts off, babe. All right, now open them up. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, she just chip off the old block. And that's the Challenger. Very cool. Okay, so, like I said, it was just kind of an odd video I thought I'd throw together considering I haven't made a video in a few weeks now and I want to put something out for you guys to uh, show you a little bit about our place down here in North Carolina. I said, but this shirt my wife gave to me this morning, it was kind of an early Christmas present and I wanted you guys to take a look close look at it because I'm going to start wearing this whenever I make my videos in the workshop and I wanted you guys to see a little bit more about the stuff I do. Another thing I wanted you guys to see is I've shown you these cars and I told you my daughter was a chip off the old block. I've always been into cars before I was into restoring old radios I was restoring old cars and uh, I did a 57 Chevy wagon quite a few years ago did a 69 El Camino quite a few years ago, uh, and then I did uh, a 1966 VW Bug in 2010, it took me two years, start to finish, I got over 600 photos, I've got uh, a video where it's documented, which I'm going to put the web address for that, because it's on the forum, but you guys need to check it out, it basically takes it from day one to the very end and at the very end of the of the uh, 
thread there's actually a link to a video where it got sold at auction in Mecham. I'd like you guys to check that out and then uh, I had a 2014 Corvette that I highly modified under the hood and uh, unfortunately that's on a Corvette forum but I don't even remember that address anymore because I no longer have that but anyway just a quick little video here and uh, thank you for my daughter for filming this piece for me and uh, so from Greg's Vintage Workshop thanks for watching <laughs>